Hi, in this screencast we're going to take a look at some of the new features in CLion 1.1. We're going to begin by looking at parser improvements. So we've completed a massive overhaul of our parser to make it more accurate and precise. For example, sometimes a function declaration and a constructor declaration look identical, but CLine is now able to disambiguate the two. So here in the case where the constructor for A is defined, it's working as a constructor, but when B is not defined, then it's working as a function and we get an inspection from CLine saying that function B is not implemented. Another similar example is the casting of a value to some other value via a declaration. So now CLine can handle cases where you, for example, take a decal type of a float and then cast an int into it. This is no longer a problem. The only issue is that the variable hasn't been initialized. And we've also fixed plenty of issues related to template arguments, variadic templates, and various type casting. So for example, now if you use a function style cast of an int of an int variable, then CLine is going to interpret it just fine. And in fact, it will complain only that the casting expression is somewhat redundant. Users of CLine on the OSX operating system will be pleased to know that we now provide LLDB support. So CLine now comes bundled with version 3.6 of LLDB in its OSX distribution package, and this becomes the default debugger for OSX. CLion 1.1 comes with improved code style settings. For example, we now provide several bundles of settings for code styles, so you can press the link set from and choose a predefined style. Once you choose one of the styles, what you see is an update of what you've actually changed in the flashing highlights down below. The code style settings also include an option to control the indent for the preprocessor directives. And you also have an ability for the preprocessing instructions to actually follow the indentation of the code there next to. Another new feature in code style settings are the settings for CMake. So now you can control the tabs and indents which are used, the spaces, as well as how many maximum blank lines you want to keep. The code style changes come together with additional improvements in the formatter. So for example, if I write an if and def, followed by a particular symbol. Then as soon as I write and if and press return, the closing statement gets formatted accordingly. We've also made other improvements to the formatter. For example, non-existing declarations no longer break template formatting and multi-line comments are now handled correctly during indentation. CLion now lets you control the extensions which are used for creating new files. So instead of the H extension, I can choose HPP. And now if I go and create a new header file, I get HPP as the default extension. Of course, I can expand this list and go back to .h. Just a few more things worth mentioning. So now when you add a new file to a project, CLine does it in a more accurate way, taking into account the variables related to the different targets and adding the declarations where necessary. We've also changed slightly the way that include directories look in CLine, so you'll see them highlighted in yellow. And finally, CLine now comes bundled with a YAML plugin. So that's it. Thanks for checking out the screencast. To find out more about CLine, go to jetbrains.com slash CLine. Thanks for watching.